example for these wonderful little things an XB um, by Maxstream basically we have um, two of these running, you can see there's one there and one there um, completely wireless onto um, the Mac this is the piece of software we're putting in so we are just literally um, there are a couple of extra variables so you can ignore them um, we have I should really tidy this code up but this here this is actually an analog input this is from the potentiometer and then we're saying that it's at number zero so pin zero or input zero um, we've got a value, um, an integer that we set up. And um, we go into the program. We've got um, we're communicating at 2400. So we need to specify that in the setup. Then we're running this bit of code. And what we're actually doing is we're reading just one analog input. So val equals analog read, and then the pin specified, um, which up here we specified as zero. <coughs> all that does is literally just replaces it with zero it just makes it easier for us to to read it um, val2 we can ignore um, and then what we're doing is we're sending value so send value and val that's the integer that we're using that we specified up here um, and we're calling this function send value and then this is the function here it's a send value um, and then we say that it's got an integer value so that the, um, oh, the function here can actually call that value from outside of it, so from up here. Um, if we don't have that, then it won't be able to work. So what we're saying is um, serial print that value. Um, the next line I've just put a space in so I can read it easier. But make sure if you are putting a space in that you use uh, the two little brackets um, did all those things um, and then we return back up to here and then we have a delay before continuing on with the loop so then let's see what it actually does so this here we have an Arduino in here an app now 168 sitting in there nicely um, and then we have the the smaller Libellium XB module board on here um, and all I've done is connected um, three wires to the potentiometer. We have two of them going to the power. There's one to five volts and zero volts. These go to the outer pins of the potentiometer. The middle one um, is the value that we're actually reading, and I've put it into the analog zero port. Um, I've had to put it in the top one because the shield actually fills up those ports anyway. Um, I just knocked off the power cable, but then um, that is actually just powered using my little power supply. Um, this one here, which is the the bigger one, this deals with the, all the outputs as well. Um, this is just the better board. Now this one is actually got no Arduino in there. You can see spare socket. And this one's actually connected to the computer down there. Right, so now what we need to do is the settings. So on the actual transmit, we want the data from the Arduino app mail coming through these ports onto the XB. So what we need to do is we need to set them um, to that side, which is, let's see if I can focus in on there. Can't focus in, but you have USB, common, R XB, and we want it on the XB, so we're linking common to XB on both of those. On this one, we've got the data coming from the XB to the pins to the USB, so that's why we need them put onto the USB side. Just to see that. I'm not admit the light is pulling in here. Okay. So what I need to do now is just connect up this one. Like so. They're both working. We can go to the serial port. We can see that we are 
just transmitting loads and loads of zeros. If I rotate the potentiometer the correct way, you can see that value changes like so. So that is a very simple tutorial to get XP working one to the other. Cool.